Today we're going to show you how to do a mapping mission with the DJI M30. Stay tuned. First, we're going to fire up the remote controller and then fire up the drone. Once they're both powered up, go ahead and select flight route. When you've selected the flight route, you'll have flights that you've done previously, and if you want to start a new flight, you'll press the plus button up at the top and create a new route. You have three options here. You have waypoint route, you have area route, and linear route. We'll be talking about the other two at a later date, but today we're going to talk about area route. Once we've selected the area, the GPS will lock into where we are located, and that's where we'll start our map. We can open and close the map with our fingers to get a little wider and make, make it easier to work with. Start by touching the screen at the point you want to begin, and then the second waypoint and the third waypoint by touching the screen in those locations. Once that's completed, go ahead to the left-hand corner and touch Mapping Area. Now we'll select the settings in our second session here. We'll go to select aircraft model, M30 series, and then select the camera. We have either the M30 or the M30T to select from. We'll pick the M30T so we can do thermal also in our, in our mapping. And then we're going to select our camera. We have wide angle and IR or both. We're going to select both and then select OK. Then we have our area that's been created. We can rename this map there. And then it shows which drone you have selected and which cameras you've selected. Here we have the wide angle and the IR camera. Then we have a selection either ortho or oblique. We're going to select oblique collection today so we can do a 3D model. The ortho GSD is selected at 5.00. Oblique is selected. And then our gimbal pitch oblique is selecting the the desired angle of the camera when you're doing your oblique photos. And then altitude mode is relative to takeoff point. Route altitude is selected based on where you're located with the drone. If you're above or below the drone, you want to make sure you set the proper parameters so the drone flies the proper angle. The speed of the drone is pre-selected at 5.7 miles per hour. So the next setting is course angle. In most cases, you'll fly the length of the building, unless, of course, you have a crosswind, then you can change the course. Upon completion of the mission, you're going to select what the drone's going to do. So you have three different selections, return to home, land, or return to the starting point and hover. In most cases, you'll have the drone return to home or where it started. Lastly, we'll go to the advanced settings. And then you have the selection of photo mode, which is time interval shots, which is the drone is actually flying and every two or three seconds will take a picture, or the distance. Distance intervals are when the drone will fly 10 yards and take a snapshot. So I would normally set it at time intervals to have it take a photo every two seconds. And then you have your oblique speed and your takeoff speed. They're preset at 8.5 and your takeoff speed at 33.5. Once we've completed our settings, we can go to the left-hand top corner and click on Save. So now that we've completed setting up our flight inside, we've come outside here at DSLR Pros and we're going to map the building. So first, we're going to fire up the controller and then fire up the drone. And then once we have the controller set up, we're going to hit flight route. And then we're going to select the map that we created inside. So we'll select that on the screen. Everything looks ready to go. We're going to click on our, our map and execute the flight for flight number one. Once we press the screen, it goes to the next pre-flight screen to make sure everything is good to go. And then we hit next. Then upload the flight mission. So now the mission has been uploaded to the drone. We're going to hit start and the drone will launch on its own. So while the drone's flying, we can actually watch it on the screen and see where it's at in the mission. We can also change our view from the actual flight plan that we have on the grid over to the, the camera direct. And now we're looking straight down with, and seeing what, exactly what the camera sees. 
If needed, for any reason, you can also go to first person view and see what's up in front of the drone while it's flying. And then we go right back to the map. Now it's returning to home, so it finds its spot where it took off and it's gonna land in the same area. Stay tuned, in upcoming videos, we'll show you how to process this data utilizing three different softwares. This is Derek Ward with DSLR Pros. Thanks for tuning in and fly safe.